when I take my walks, you know, I'm looking up a lot at the trees. I see that most people are not looking up at all. And most of the beauty is up there in the sky. And everybody now is not looking at anything because they're on their cell phones. They can't even see their feet. They don't know what their feet look like anymore. <laughs>
And all these people say they can't do art, they just haven't practiced. But also I was a house painter, a sign painter, and uh, I painted apartments for uh, a couple of landladies, or landlady and land, uh, landlords. And so I got into that way and did a few paintings that way and then started doing paintings more. But the only reason I'm still in art is I, uh, my uncle was an upholsterer in Alturas, California. So him and his wife, that's all he did up there for his full career. And he died about six months before he was 90 or so. So he saved a lot of money and he left it to me and my brother because he didn't have any children. So I'm still living off part of that money. So that's one of the reasons that I'm able to afford my layback style. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I'd probably be struggling like every other artist. I still don't think artists can make a living at this. You gotta have a story behind each painting and then it might work. Or you, you gotta be in the right spot, like, like these people that work for the college. If they're an artist, they're gonna have all this college crowd to sell to, but otherwise, I, I run in the wrong crowd. I don't run, run in the wealthy crowd, and that's what you need for art, so. Smartest thing I've ever done is got into real estate. because I bought a house, rented it, sold it, bought a triplex over here on Humboldt Avenue, sold that, and then bought the house I live in now. But the house I live in now, I bought in the early 70s, and the owner carried the, carried the paper, 12,500. And I was looking at Zillow last week, it's about 196,000. Has anybody else ever asked you to do windows? Yes. Really? I don't do windows. You don't? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> no, no. You've heard some wife say I don't do windows. Well, I don't do windows. No, I can't duplicate it. Like my Duras up there, I tried to duplicate it once. It doesn't work. You can't duplicate art. It's really hard, especially on that uh, surface. And I'm painting with acrylics right on the glass. Then I go back in and scratch it with just a, an old worn out pair of scissors or something, just a small edge there. And it gives you more light in here but and a little texture to the painting. But it works great, holds up, except outside. I've got some out on my fence there that are falling apart, and some of them are actually cracking because they have just such a, a, a different in temperature between the winter and the summer, and they're out there all the time. So, you know, I think it just, the uh, expansion and contraction have just caused them to crack. But I haven't had trouble with the windows in the house at all. Of course, they're mainly shaded too, so. But they work good, look like stained glass, and they're so much more simple. You know, and you can't cut your fingers on your glass cutter or anything else. Well, and and to your goal, they they I look at them, and they make me happy. Oh, that's great! Yeah. Well, the ones, the three on the bottom of my, of my living room wall there are Alphonse Mucha takeoff. So he used to be this poster artist for a uh, famous dancer Isadora Duncan. Yeah, well, he was the artist that did all the posters, and he did some great Art Nouveau art. You really ought to check it out, because I went to Reno once and saw some of the originals, too, and they were great. The only fabric I've done is the, uh, I've done a little jacket there, did the trim on it, but uh, the, it's the hats that I do. And they're good solid surface there, and uh, that's the only reason. And not that people like them, and uh, they got a little message. You got a peace symbol on there. Uh, I guess when I even got free hugs up there, they probably can't read it, but I want them to get close before they hug me, so I was like, <laughs> it's not too legible. <laughs> you also have a great, great affinity for all sorts of creatures, living creatures. Don't oh, you? yeah. Well, I like the animals, yeah. Well, especially the tigers, you see, because they got a great design element to them, and they're easy to do. Try to do a lion, it's difficult, you know, it's all one color and it's just blah. Well, you gotta right, have the proportions right and everything else. So the tiger I love, because there you can get into all kinds of design elements. I'm not trying to tell stories with my art, I'm trying to de depict the brighter side of life. 
I just want to create something that's entertaining, enjoyable, and something that uh, I it I it it uh, I'm impressed by it when I'm making it, and I'm hoping someone's impressed by it when they see it. So, but it's all common things. It's also things that uh, I don't have in my life. You know, beautiful women, all these animals, places I uh, don't go, and then all the surreal art too. But. It allows you to have an experience that you're kind of longing for. Yep, yep. The surreal ones are really popular with the artists and with other people too. And it seems like I only did them one winter where I got into this surreal thing. And you could actually start with a blind draw or anything to get it started. And then you started adding figures and animals and stuff. But those are much more popular than just the standard image thing. So. One thing about my art is I've quit doing the larger ones. All the uh, 12 by 24 or larger, I'm not doing it anymore. And supply and demand now should say that my values and my, my art is going up. Of course, the market has not gone up. It's the only problem with that. But, uh, you know, because... Any more of these aren't being created, so I suggest people get in while they're still around because they're not going to be around. And if you like them now, you better buy them now and spend big bucks on them. Oh, forget the big bucks. I'll take a little bit. <laughs> how do you come up with an idea every morning? I mean, how do you start? You, you start with a piece of paper every day. How do you fill it? Well, first of all, I don't fill it in one day, but... I just go on my computer, find images, and then just uh, interpret the images and to get started. And then I start throwing images together. And my problem is now I throw so many images together that, uh, and then fill in the blanks and don't leave any bare space. That works better if you are some negative space, if you have some, leave some negative space. But the key now is knowing when to stop. And I haven't learned that yet. Maybe when I'm 90, I'll know how to stop or when to stop. I've learned some things with the teaching, but mainly it's doing it. And then now, so you have so many guides on, on the web where you can see good art, you can see what they did right and what they did wrong and why, how, why it works. But you probably won't analyze it that well, but you can still see good art and, and then try to duplicate that. Well. You're 82 at the time of the filming, and you are very active on the web. Can you talk a little bit about that? I think that's that's great that you really, that's kind of like another part of your community. Well, I consider my art one of my art forms too, because I put up great photos on there of other people's art, other people's photos. And plus, whenever I take a walk, I take my camera with me, so I'm filming it and then putting it back on the web. So it gets a lot of these people that are homebred uh, to go on my walks with me. So, uh, and that's good. And, and not only that, I'm finding all these uplifting statements by all these great people like Wayne Dyer, Leo Biscaglia, and all this stuff. So that's great. It's just, uh, it's just a bright way for me to start a day. So I spend a couple hours in the morning, every morning, just doing it. I enjoy it, and hopefully a few other people do and I don't have many real friends on Facebook, but I got about 1,800 friends. So <laughs> there are people out there enjoying it. So anyway, I think it's constructive, and uh, but I am addicted. <laughs>